So for safety reasons, the first thing that we need to do is remove things. And if you have earrings as well, remove them. Any long hair, please, in a ponytail, so it's safe, you don't get cut. So this time is about wood joinery. And joining two pieces of wood can be as simple as just gluing it like this. Um, or can be a really work of art. I recommend you to search for uh, Japanese joinery in uh, YouTube. Uh, I'll try to put some, some links in the description below. Uh, it's pretty, pretty impressive. Um, they have hundreds of years, probably even thousands of years developing these techniques and they, they do an amazing, amazing job. But we are going to start from really, really the basics. Uh, so the first, the first way of joining two pieces of wood is called butt. And it's very, very simple. As simple as just adding glue to this side of, the, of uh, your piece of wood and gluing it. That's it. That's all you have to do. It's called butt and it's just glue. Obviously, this is not super strong. So depending on what is it that you are doing, uh, you will need to probably reinforce this, which will be what I will show you next. But this is the first one, it's called butt, just glue. This other type of joinery is uh, the same as butt, it's just uh, this edge attached here, and we were going to use glue, but we are going to add a uh, couple of nails to make it stronger. Now, if you put the nail straight, um, it will be good, uh, but if you put the nail in an angle, it will make the piece stronger, the joinery is stronger. Because obviously what, what the, the, the wood is going to try to do is separate. Um, and if the nail is straight, it's easy to get it out. But if it's, there isn't an, an angle here, it's, it's harder to get uh, this nail out. Now, you have to be careful for several reasons. First, um, wood grain have, has uh, different densities. so. Um, each couple of these of these lines, uh, one dark and one one clear, represents one year of uh, tree growth. If you see the the uh, clear is larger than the hard, the the, the dark, and that's because uh, the clear is when the grew the train uh, sorry the tree grew in rainy season, uh, so the the clear is softer. The dark is when the tree grew on um, dry season, so it's harder. So be careful when you put your nail, uh, because the nail, if, if you uh, put, for example, the nail here and this dark, it will try to push you aside, so it will, it will move. Um, the other bit is that when you try to put this in an angle, we should put this in an angle in this direction, not in this direction, because we can get this nail too um, uh, close to the edge and the wood will break, or even worse, uh, the point of the nail will, will, um, will be seen, could be felt, and could be also dangerous. So remember, in this direction, straight, what we will do is just make this angle in this direction. Um, what I normally do is I trace the center where I want to have my, my nail. So if the thickness of my material is this, I'll try to put my nail, for example, here, and another one here choosing the soft part of the wood. So before putting any glue um, and well supported in your table, just grab the nail, put it where you want it. Uh, this is the classic um, hammer, I don't think I need to explain this. And just give it a few bumps. Be careful with your fingers, it's just a few bumps. And as I see, as you see, is this is uh, inclined in this way, but not in this way. Same thing here, I'm going to do this, just a few bumps, slow, don't hurt yourself. Once the nail is there, you can give it a little bit more strength, obviously don't go beyond, don't, don't um, damage uh, your work area. And now we can do this, we can put the, uh, the glue, we can align this here and finish hammering. So let's see how it goes. One side.
that's it. This can be wiped up. And there you are. You have a bot joining, joining uh, with some nails. Now, one last bit that we could do is have the um, head of the nail um, still uh, out a little bit. Uh, you can use you can use another nail and just push the head a little bit inwards, and then you can cover that with um, uh, wood filler, so you won't see the uh, uh, the nail. Okay, that's it. But with reinforced with uh, nails. So this uh, next one is again but it's a butt joint like that. This time we're going to reinforce it with uh, screws. Um, there are many different types of screws. Um, I know some of you will say, oh, that's a um, drywall screw. Yes, it's true. Um, it will work fine for this. Um, there are many, many types of screws. We will talk about that in another, in another moment. Uh, but the important thing with this, as you see, I have some drill bits here. Um, the classic mistake is just try to push the, the, um, the screw in just by making pressure. And what happens is that fibers of wood um, will separate and you can break the wood. So if the nail, uh, sorry, if the uh, screw is big enough, uh, you can break the, uh, uh, the wood. Um, and the other thing is that um, you can, if you do that, you will create a, a, an attachment between the screw and this piece of wood. And when you are creating, uh, you are reaching this other piece of wood, it may not join these two with, with enough force between them. So what you want is actually this piece being pushed towards this side and giving up a, a, a tight uh, union between these two pieces of wood. So what we do is that we drill a hole in the piece here, in this part here, big enough so the screw can move freely and on the other one, we drill a tiny little hole uh, just to be a guide, and the, um, the screw will actually make a mechanical attachment to this part, and the more you screw, the tighter this, this joint uh, will become. So just like before, with the nails, I will just sign here the thickness of my um, uh, material. Uh, remember, same thing when you're drilling, if you try to start on the hard part, it will, it will push you aside. Um, so I will do one hole here and another hole here. And um, that's pretty much it. So I'll start with the first, um, the first drill bit. Uh, we need a material, support material behind it. So we don't drill our table, so any piece of wood Try to be as, as straight as possible. And that's it. Now we have a couple of holes here that allow the, the screw to move freely inside. The screw is, is too short, but well, for this exercise I think it will be enough. Now what I will do is I will put I will place my pieces of wood like that and I will mark with my screw where the other hole should be. So you can see here the two bits. So what I will do now is just change my drill bit. This drill bit is very small, is one sixteenth. So can break very easily. So when you are drilling in, try not to move it like that because otherwise it will break. And this is a very small hole. You don't need to do much. Just like that. That's enough. That will be enough. Uh, because I haven't measured precisely, this hole is slightly higher than this other one. So try to remember not to flip over, otherwise you will have a strange union. No, it will, it will move, it will, it will shift. But that's it, we're ready. Uh, what we need to put now is just a little bit of glue here. And put our screws in. And believe it or not, I forgot the screwdriver. So I'm gonna pause here.
gonna get the screw be back screwdriver ah oh, back um, and that's it just push in uh, be sure that this is aligned and you see how when I on a screw this this is creating the pressure that I that I needed and it's, it's um, pouring the the glue out you see that's what I wanted and that's it this is a butt joint with reinforced with screws now the screw was conical um, so that helps create um, uh, pressure um, on this on this piece of wood um, but it's slightly out of, of the level so it's, it's pouring out a little bit so there are some special tools that will allow you to make a conical hole. Um, so when you drill this, so when you screw the, uh, this screw, uh, the head will be flat on the surface. Or if you want to, you can go below the surface and put some uh, wood filler on top so you cover the, the, um, the screw as well. Uh, so there are many different things that you can do, but for a basic joinery, this is it. So the next type of joinery is called a meter butt. Some people call it just meter. And basically what it is, is a 45 degree uh, cut um, in, your, in your piece of wood. Let me, it's getting this complicated. Uh, there you are. A 45 degree cut here, all along. And another 45 degree cut here and then you join it so I'll go into I'm going to show you how to cut this in the uh, band saw and after that um, the basic is just uh, like the butt uh, joint it's just glue and attach and that's it there are all of the other things that you can do uh, you can add uh, different different things to make these joiners stronger but again, the basic will be just this. So let's go and cut this on the uh, band saw. For this cut, I uh, moved the base of the uh, band saw 45 degrees. So it gives you directly the, the degree that you need. So let's cut this one. So these cuts came very nicely. Um, so I hope you notice um, I was following the edge when we're doing the cut on 45 degrees. I was just following the edge of the of the piece of wood. And if you are just you know precise enough, go slow enough, um, you will you will just get it right. Um, it's a good idea to sand it a little bit. Some of the bits that are remaining. Um, I know some of you that may have used other tools before, you may be thinking, oh, that is much better uh, in a, made in a, in a table saw. And yes, you're right. This cut can be made in a, in a table saw and probably it's more precise. Not probably, surely it's more precise. Um, but I, I uh, prefer to use the band saw. I have preference on that for that machine. Um, that means I'm scared of the other one, <laughs> but that's just me. Um, so the rest is just glue. Attaching like that and let it dry. Nothing more. So that is a meter butt or a meter. Um, again, there are other things that you could add that you can um, make here to make this joint uh, stronger. Uh, but that, that will be uh, another lesson. Uh, the next type of um, joinery is called half tap. And this works very well when you are trying to join two pieces, not in an angle, but straight. Um, it's, it's quite simple. So what you need to do is first 
uh, let's give um, three centimeters, two centimeters, two, three is maybe too much, two centimeters here and two centimeters here. Just gonna mark this here, like this. And then I'm gonna mark half of it here. So let's see, this is 18 millimeters, so that's nine, half. And I can just, using my finger, I will support the point of my pencil on my finger and the finger on the edge of the wood. And I will just continue the line so it's parallel to the edge, that's what I need to do. Same thing here, it should be the same. Strangely enough, this is slightly thinner, but it's fine, it's not a big deal. Okay, same thing. And now, what I want to do is get rid of this bit, and then get rid of this bit, and this will be joined with glue. Again, the same, the same as previous. The basic is just glue. Uh, you can add different, different things, screws and other parts, uh, other bits of wood to make it stronger. But again, this is the basic, basic beginning entry, entry level. So this will be enough. So I'm gonna cut this in the band saw. I'll show you. I'll show you now how to do it. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, lower uh, these bearings here. Uh, these bearings are keeping the blade in place. So if you have it too high, the blade will move. So I'm just going to lower it, lower it a little bit. And then we are ready to cut. Here comes the noise. So this is our um, half lap. Um, the cut is mm, precise enough, but not enough to be, uh, you know, tight in this edge and this edge. Um, I think is a little bit the uh, the angle here. Um, so that's just basically uh, sanding off a little bit or um, making a little bit deeper the this angle here. That could be done with uh, sandpaper, with a file, with a chisel. Um, the, the, the point here is just go very slowly, continuously check until you get to the point that you want it. Um, then just add glue, attach, and that's it. So I use a combination of chisel and uh, file, and now is where I want it, where I want it to be. So as I said, just add a little bit of glue. And just connect. And that's it. Just wait for it to dry and you have meter bot. So the the last um, type of joinery that I'll show you in this video is called uh, box joint. Um, it's a really beautiful, uh, aesthetically speaking, and very strong type of joinery. And what it is, is uh, basically cutting uh, squares in both sides of these uh, two pieces. It can be used to join um, um, longitudinally or in an angle. Uh, let's say that you have three here, three teeth, let's say, and two on this side, and they will join like that. So the first thing that we need to know is the thickness of our material. In this case, is uh, 17, 18 millimeters. So we will trace that amount, same amount here and here and then we'll trace these squares um, as I said we can we can do two on one side three on the other one just need to be a match so let's let's do it So 
this is the bits that I want to get rid of. Um, now it's all about cutting in the bandsaw. So coming right out of the um, band so is uh, the cut was not precise enough um, so it's not it's not coming in it's too too tight so again with um, file probably uh, you can use maybe as well uh, chisel um, just work very slowly to get rid of all that extra material uh, so you can slide it in tight and it's a, it's a good strong bone um, hope you notice when when I was cutting uh, if you um, if you have a line um, you can cut the blade can go in the middle of the line one side of the line or at the other side of the line that is very important because the blade has a thickness and that's material that you're get, getting rid of so if you cut in the middle you will get a little bit of both sides and in the case of these that you need precision uh, you need to cut on one side of the line so you don't get you, you don't get rid of more material that you want because if it's too loose it won't work and uh, there is no way of adding material I mean you can still glue it and add filler and other things but it won't be a strong bond what you need is um, uh, to be slightly extra on material and work your way out just slowly getting rid of that so it slides in nice tight Okay, so that's what I'll do now. Uh, use my file and chisel, and then when it's ready, you're screwing. So, this is it. You can see it's getting in tight. It's pretty strong. So it's just about adding a little bit of uh, um, glue, and that's it. You, you got it. It could be like that, or it could be like this. If you want it to be like this, I still need to sand a little bit more because it wasn't deep enough, the cut. Um, but either way, we'll, we'll work just fine. Okay? Ready? <laughs> 